channel. I've been trying to film um, this kind of autumn capsule wardrobe for the last few weeks, but we went into a heat wave again and it just felt really weird. In fact, it's, it's beautiful outside again today, not quite as hot as it was. So the weather's nice. I've got everything set up. I just thought we're just going to go for it. <laughs> so I've had some new pieces. I'm going to try and keep this short because I tend to ramble on. So I've had some new pieces that I'm going to go through first and then I'm going to show how those are kind of going to build up my capsule wardrobe for autumn and how they can work with my existing pieces. There's nothing kind of too trend driven. So these pieces will hopefully go through to next autumn. Um, it was just updating a couple of basics and obviously uh, I'm pregnant and um, these jeans, let's just say I'm going to be taking these jeans off when uh, once I finish filming. Um, there are a pair of maternity jeans in this uh, new in. They're still too big. I've just got them because they were in stock, ready uh, for autumn and winter. Um, but yeah, the bump is definitely growing. The morning, I can kind of get away with putting a pair of jeans on, but otherwise I just want to be in leggings. Um, but anyway, let's get into the video. So my first new in piece, I'm actually going to blame baby brain on this. I already have this jumper and I thought, I recognised it and I thought, oh, if that is the one that I had, that's probably a little bit snug now, um, especially on the uh, chest area, and I want it to be able to grow with my bump, then I'll go up a size. Oh, I don't think I went up enough. <laughs> it's um, a fine knit from Zara, has the cut out shoulders, which I love that kind of cold shoulder look, um, nice crew neck, really lovely material, nice stretch to it. But I would say this comes up quite small. Um, so the one I already have is also a medium, so I probably should have gone for a large, uh, which I tend to be a UK 10, probably heading to a 12 around my uh, like bump area now if I want it to be comfortable. Um, so yeah, I mean this fits perfectly, I just want it to last. So yeah, wishing I'd got a large in that. And uh, yeah, I already have pretty much the exact same jumper in a medium. But if you're looking for a piece of knitwear that isn't too heavy, so it's it's kind of going to get you through those warmer days, but you could layer it really easily because it's nice and fine. Um, and it's just got something different with the, the shoulder detail. So that one was from Zara. I think it's about £25, but I'll put the price uh, on the screen. Okay, there might be a couple of fluffy bits on this. I have already worn this. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen me share this already. I absolutely love this piece. Um, I was looking for a knitted maxi cardigan last year, never really found one, uh, not the kind of chunkiness that I wanted but also not too kind of one that drowned you. This is from Topshop, it's so soft, it's so comfortable, it will look great belted up, perfect uh, for again those kind of warmer days that get cooler so you could just wear like a body or a little tank top underneath um, and then to pop this on when it gets a little bit chilly little belt round it maybe, or just wear it open, and it's got these lovely, I <laughs> don't want to set it on fire, um, split details. Again, I'll try and put a picture on screen. I just can't afford to get in and out of outfits today. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, really lovely split details. So it has a nice bit of movement uh, when you're wearing it. I tend just to wear this either over kind of midi dresses or jeans and a vest. But yeah, that is going to be my piece of the season, I think. Perfect transitional piece, not quite a coat, but it's snuggly. That was from Topshop. Again, I will put the price on the screen. And I will link it down below. Anything linked down below that has an asterisk is an affiliate link. I'll put a description of our affiliate links at the bottom. Um, but yeah, just so you know. So we have another piece of knitwear and another piece from Zara. I saw this on the website and I just had to get it straight away. It's it's beautiful. It's slightly cropped, which I just thought with leggings and a bit of a bump could look really cute. Look lovely layered over a dress if you want to wear like a little midi dress underneath. Um, it has this gorgeous hardware detail with the silver eyelets, which I just love. Um, really beautiful kind of ribbed collar detail, which I'll try and see this. So yeah, this kind of ribbed collar here and a really lovely, thick, um, what do you call these? Ties? Anyway, nice hood. It's a really soft knit. It's quite heavyweight, 
but because it's cropped, it's quite airy. Oh, I just love it. I wore this the other day um, and just felt really comfortable in it. And that kind of hardware detail just dresses it up. When you're wearing a hoodie and leggings, it just looks like you've made a little bit more effort than you actually have. So yeah, that was just a little, a little treat that I couldn't resist. My next new in piece is from ASOS. It's really soft. It is really lovely and it was a great price. Um, it was around £20, maybe 25 It was under 30 I'll put it on screen. Um, it's from ASOS Design and I noticed that a lot of their ASOS Design pieces I'm really drawn to. Um, they're quite minimal, they're quite classic and uh, yeah, they just fit into my wardrobe really well. So it's a long sleeve midi dress. It has a split detail again on the side but not too high that you're going to feel too exposed. I think it probably comes, it's just on one side as well. So again, just gives you that bit of movement so you don't feel too restricted. If it is a warmer day, you've got a little bit of ventilation. Nice kind of slash neck, not quite a crew, uh, not off the shoulder. Really, really lovely soft material. Great for layering, wear it on its own if the weather is a bit like today and it's quite warm. Pop it under a blazer, a leather jacket, Pop a little belt around it. This would look really lovely under the maxi cardigan belted with a pair of boots. So yeah, lovely knitted ribbed midi dress. I also think these look really cute with pumps. <laughs> okay, another piece from Topshop. Again, I shared this on my Instagram stories. They had a sale um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but this is a jumper dress. Probably won't be wearing it so much as a dress with bare legs because um, I have a feeling that if I popped my arms in the air like I just don't care that my pants will be on show but I really love it. I love an oversized jumper anyway so I probably would wear this with leggings, leather trousers, um, maybe on its own if I was feeling daring or with tights and boots. I just really liked it. I really love this wider neckline. It's a really lovely knit. Have I got something on this? No. Um, yeah, really lovely knit. It's not itchy. It's a really nice length, which you probably can't see. I think I have taken a picture in it. If so, I'll insert it on screen. Otherwise, I'll just pop a picture from the Topshop website and I will put the price. This was a little bit more expensive. Let me just check. What's the material? I see it's polyester, acrylic, nylon, elastane, and 3% wool. Washer's wool. Oh, but it says you can wash it on a 40. Anyway, I went for small because it is oversized. Um, there's definitely going to be room for a bit of a growing bump. Um, but yeah, this a lovely kind of relaxed, slouchy look. Bare legs and boots. If you, I'm five foot seven, so I think if you're a bit shorter, you could definitely get away with bare legs. Um, if not, just pop some cycling shorts underneath. Just want a little bit of security down there. But yeah, really love this piece. Got a couple more pieces from Topshop. These were the maternity jeans that I mentioned. These are the Jamie jeans. I went for I went for my usual size. I went for UK 10. Um, oh no, I went for a waist 28. Leg 32. They have Rip knees, which I quite like because I just think that breaks up an all black outfit slightly, just showing a little bit of skin, especially if it's not too cold. I'm not going to wear some blue knees poking out when it's freezing. Um, but yeah, I just thought, get them while they're in stock. And um, I just wanted to see what they were like. And they're really comfortable. <laughs> like, honestly, you could sit in these. You could go for a very big meal in these. I might keep these after I'm pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought these were really nice. Just the traditional... Um, Jamie jeans from their considered range, um, high-waisted, skinny, maternity. That's really all I can say about those. It's another Topshop piece, I'm really sorry, but I was in store. What was I looking for? I think I was looking for a belt and I walked past these and I lived in these last year and um, lived in them so much that they had slightly worn on the bum. So uh, yeah, needed to update them and also wanted to make sure that I grabbed a size that I could wear with a little bit of a bump. So I've gone for size 12. They're definitely roomy, um, but they'll just kind of get me through until later into winter. I just love these. I think they're just such a great 
piece for autumn winter. I just love them. This adds a, like a slightly different kind of texture um, to an all black outfit as well. So yeah, if you want to kind of swap your jeans out for something different, these are great, especially if you, if you love a skinny jean. These are just such a lovely, lovely fit. And the uh, material on the inside just means that they slide on and off. You're not gonna have a Ross, a Ross Geller moment in these. And the fastening is on the side, which I find really flattering. I just find it smooths off your front and uh, yeah, looks really, really nice. So those are 10 out of 10. Another piece from Zara. I got these thinking they were, well, they are leggings, but they definitely have more of a trouser feel. They have um, like a slight pocket detail on the back, a really nice thick waistband, no fastening, so really smoothing again. Um, it says mid waist, mid height. What are they? I'm taking the label out. Mid, mid rise. Um, but I would say that they, these come up to my belly button, so they're more high rise. They've got a really nice zip detail um, on the ankle, which I just like. And they are a great fit. Um, they're very flattering on the bum. They're very flattering all over. They really hold you in and really smooth you off. So if you're looking for something maybe that you want to wear in an office that looks like a trouser, but has the fit of a legging, I say these are the one. They're really smart. I really, really like them. Not what I expected when I ordered them, but really happy with them. Okay, this is technically new because I haven't worn it yet, but my husband very kindly got me this for my birthday back in April. It's an Anina Bing wool, is it wool? Let's just try that again. It feels like wool. It's 30% wool and the rest is polyester. So yeah, it's more of a autumn winter blazer. But obviously I got it in spring, but I just kept it away in a suit bag, knowing I will wear it because we went straight into a heat wave uh, back in April. So there was no way I could wear this. And also we were in lockdown. So unless I was gonna plant some own house, which yeah, I'll probably did plant my own house. Um, <laughs> this um, is gonna be such a great piece in my uh, autumn winter wardrobe. Um, I'll wear it with a t-shirt, so this is, this is actually another Anina Bing piece, so layered over a t-shirt or layered over thin knitwear, even a hoodie, I love a hoodie under a blaze, I just think it's such a cool kind of mix of styles. Um, over a dress, with jeans, with leathers, yeah, this is just such a versatile piece to have in your autumn winter wardrobe and the fact that it's kind of got a bit of wool um, mixed in into the uh, fabric, this means it's going to be a bit warmer. So yeah, really happy with this and the fit is beautiful. Fits really lovely on the shoulders, really nice on the back. This won't go out of style. I'll have this in my wardrobe for years. So yeah, that was from Anina Bing. Okay, another new in piece that I picked up just because I realised I haven't got one of these in my bag collection. Um, and sometimes I just want something that's a bit different. I tend to always go for a crossbody. I just can't help myself. I love a messenger bag. I love a mini crossbody, um, or for work, I tend to grab my tote uh, Zara bag with the studs that I've definitely men mentioned before. Um, but I saw this on ASOS. I think it's by, is it by Glamorous? Glamorous, not a brand I would normally purchase from in terms of clothing, but it's actually really nice quality. For the, for the price, it's great. It's that kind of dupe of the bag that we've seen everywhere. And um, it's a really good size, so I can get everything in there. And yeah, I just thought I don't have a black clutch and a clutch that I could probably wear in the day. Not so practical when I have a child, but for now, uh, I don't. So yeah, I just thought it was really nice and it just adds something different to some of my outfits. Um, I'm quite a casual dresser, uh, so this could just dress up a little bit. So yeah, I just thought that was really nice, really easy and great fastening. Woo! I feel like everything would be quite secure in there. And again, like I said, really roomy, really tactile. I really like how squishy it is. Um, but yeah, so that's me. <laughs> these have only just arrived. I haven't actually tried these on. So I saw, um, is it the Philip Lim? Is it the 3.1? 
would have got that totally wrong. Um, featured in Victoria in the Foes uh, latest autumn, winter kind of pieces, trend pieces. And uh, they are beautiful. But they're close to £500. So I saw these on Arquette and they're pretty much identical. They've got the chunky sole. They've got that Chelsea boot kind of elastic here. Just really like them. I nearly picked this. this. This is kind of a trend that was in last year. And we saw a lot of people in these kind of slip on, minimal, chunky boots. And I just couldn't get hold of a pair that I liked. Topshop had a pair, but they were really uncomfortable. So I never kept those. Zara had a pair that everyone had. And I think they just kept selling out. And then I got my Brentsons for Christmas and they were, I mean, I still love those. They are still on the rail. <laughs> Yeah, these have arrived and I just think they're just so cool. They're like a statement, but they're really understated. They're like a boot that you would you'd glance at and be like, oh, they're cool. But these are a, a little splurge. But um, yeah, these are from Arquette. They did have minimal sizes left. I think it was only a 40 and a 41 when I ordered these. Luckily, I'm a size 40, uh, UK 7. So yeah, <laughs> expect to see these in my outfit post on Instagram. Right then, I'm just going to mention a few pieces that are in my existing wardrobe that I think will tie in really nicely with the pieces that I've picked up. So first of all, a basic black t-shirt. I've already mentioned the Nina Bain one I'm wearing now. Saint and Sophia do some really gorgeous ones. Organic cotton, really nice and breathable. They'll last you all year. So they're just great to have in your basics. It's another hoodie, but it's my Zara one that I've had now. I think I've had this for three years. It's starting to show because I'm washing it a lot. And I think maybe it's just starting to fade. And there's a little tiny bit of bobbling, but not too much. I just love it. It's just such a great oversized hoodie. And it has these really chunky ties on, which I haven't seen on any of their hoodies that they've brought out since. Um, but yeah, love this. Can't beat a hoodie especially when it's a bit chilly. And like I said, I would wear this underneath a blazer, underneath my leather jacket, um, on its own. It's just a great piece to have. So yeah, that's another one. I've also got this uh, satin midi skirt from Topshop. I think we've all probably got one of these in our, in our wardrobe from the last couple of uh, years. They've kind of been really on trend, especially last year. I think I saw a lot of, a lot of these around. Uh, so yeah, that's another piece that I will keep I wear it with t-shirts, knitwear, leather jacket, blazer. It's just really, really versatile. Looks great with boots, lovely with heels, um, cute with a pair of like, pump trainers. Yeah, another great piece to have. This is actually available from Topshop at the moment, I think, so I will link it down below. Ding! So this is the All Saints dress. Where is it? I've definitely featured this before. So it's, let me just take the, the jumper off. It's just the strappy, silky, midi All Saints dress. Really classic shape, really beautiful fit. Again, it's quite roomy on the uh, middle area, so I'm hoping this will, <laughs> this will last um, for at least a few more months. Uh, but yeah, really classic. Looks great without the jumper. It does like, well, it did come with the jumper, which is a lovely outfit in itself. But it looks great on its own, under a leather jacket, with a pair of chunky boots. This, this outfit, as it is, would look great with the Arquette boots. Um, so yeah, excited to wear this again this year. And then finally, uh, in terms of clothing, my trusty leather jacket. Um, I don't know how many years I've had this now. I mean, it's actually quite disgusting on the inside, <laughs> but it's like my old faithful. It's my comfort blanket. Um, so I would definitely, definitely be wearing this uh, with pretty much all of the pieces that I featured. Um, I am actually looking to get a new leather jacket this year, uh, something slightly more structured, just so I have a different option. This is a real kind of comfy, slightly slouchy, because it's just worn so much. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe with some biker details, uh, some nice kind of hardware details as well. I've obviously got my solo jacket, which I know a lot of you love. I'll just grab that. This tends to feature in the background of a lot of my Instagram pictures and uh, my outfit posts. It weighs a ton. It doesn't weigh so much when you're wearing it, but to hold it, it's heavy. 
This was, again, from Topshop a few years ago. It was limited edition. I'm really sorry. I know so many of you love it. Um, a bit of a dupe for the Burberry um, studded jacket that came out. But yeah, one of these pieces I will keep forever. And it, again, it's worn really beautifully. I think the more textured it gets and slightly worn it gets, the, the better it looks. But um, I have seen, sorry, I have seen something similar that I'm going to link below. Um, it's an account that I follow on Instagram. I think they're called Shop Little Lies. I'll double check. I'll put their Instagram on screen and I will whoo, link the jacket down below because it, it is really similar. If you're just looking for a standard leather jacket and it's a lot cheaper than this was. Um, but yeah. Right, on to the last couple of pieces which are footwear, a pair of black heels. I just think you just can't not have these in your collection. These ones are from Topshop. They're very dusty. Oh. Because <laughs> let's be honest, I haven't been wearing heels much recently. Um, but I will always have these in my collection. They're really classic. Lovely, lovely stiletto heel. Nice pointed toe. They're, these are like a suede, you might want to get a leather or a patent. I think a patent um, pair, especially in like autumn, winter, just look really cool, really beautiful. Um, but yeah, not a black piece, but it has black on it. In fact, I need to show you one. Oh. I picked these up a few weeks ago from Netta Porter, Netta Porte. I'm always confused about that because it's Mr. Porter. So surely it should be Netta Porter, but anyway. Netta Porte, um, these are from Beja. They were in the Net Sustain collection, um, just the way that they're made. Um, and I think they're the Esper. Again, I will link them down below. I just love them. They're just really cute. They're really comfortable. I love the black detail on the back and here. And again, on the tongue. <laughs> the laces have stained because I, I wore them. Um, we popped the dogs to the park. And there must be a load of pollen on the grass at the moment because it was dry, but we both came out with kind of orangey shoes and Fred, who's white, his paws are now orange. So I don't know what's on the grass. I need to sort these laces out. But yeah, these are just a really lovely pair. And I just think sometimes a white pump with black detailing and an all black outfit just looks really cool. So those are my exception to the all black everything rule, if you like. And last but not least, my grunts and the nets. These are just great. They're still in stock. They're not going to, be, I don't think they'll be getting rid of the style for a while. You can get them with a uh, faux shirling on the inside. You can get slightly shorter ones now. They're just such a statement, but classic hiker boot style. And uh, yeah, I love them. I love, as you've seen with the, um, with the Zara hoodie, I love a bit of silver hardware and my silver jacket. I just think, again, with an all-black outfit, it just adds a little something extra. Just a way of making a statement without being too out there. So yeah, these are great. They're really comfortable. I've never had any problems with these. Um, they've worn really well. The tread, oh, there's a pebble in there. Oh, gross. Whew. The tread is great. Um, you do get pebbles stuck in the, in the tread, though. Um, I do need to polish these. The laces, you can actually buy different coloured laces. So if you wanted to kind of add a pop of colour or just if that's kind of your style, just have a little play around. Yeah, you can pick up different laces. I love these laces. They remind me of the Netta Porta, Netta Porte, um, black ribbon with the white thread through it. So yeah, again, I just love these. These are such a great Christmas present. Husband points to James for these. <laughs> So I think that's everything. Obviously, there's accessories that I'll be using, like I said, my messenger bags, my YSL, my shopper, um, belts, what else? Sunglasses. I definitely keep my sunglasses out at this time of year. And I do definitely have a lot more pairs of boots that I will be wearing. It's definitely boot season. Yes. Although it's boot season every season, I wear my ankle boots in the middle of summer all the way through. So, uh, yeah leather jacket season and boot season, my favourite. Yeah, I hope um, you enjoyed that. If you want any more kind of 
how do we explain this? Let me get my book. <laughs> so if you're looking for any more all black outfit inspiration, uh, you can pick up a signed copy of my book, All Black Everything, which is an illustrated guide on how to wear black 365 days of the year. There's a whole chapter on autumn, there's a whole chapter on denim, on little black dresses, on the leather jacket, on the blazer, accessories, activewear, it's all in here. Is it, how many pages is this? I should know this, 200 and something? 240 pages, I think there's over 150 illustrations in here. Um, it's self-published, I wrote it and illustrated it myself, and I'm a curious team uh, that uh, I work with, designed it and helped publish it for me. So yeah, it's very, very special to me. And so many of you love it, and it just means the world to me whenever an order comes through. I just, yeah, I just find it amazing. So this is still available to buy. You can buy signed copies on my website, which I will put on the screen now, and I will link it below. Uh, so yeah, there's lots. In fact, that's from the autumn. There we go, sweater weather. Uh -huh. That was a that was a nice uh, coincidence. So yeah, sweater dress and uh, or jumper dress and maxi party. That is actually from the autumn chapter. Yeah, pick up a copy uh, if you if you really love wearing all black, or if you just love fashion or illustration. It's a lovely coffee table book. Makes a lovely gift. Although I'm not going to mention the c word. <laughs> not COVID. Um, and also, you may have noticed one of my prints in the background, my print shop is coming. Um, the guys at Curious are doing a huge favour to me and um, they're absolutely swamped. I've been busy with projects and uh, also horrendous migraines, um, so it has been slightly delayed, but it's so close. We're not just building the print shop, we're redesigning my whole website, which is why it's taken a bit longer, because I can't just launch the print shop and everything else like a mess. So it's all having to be done together. But yeah, thank you so much for your patience. And um, a lot of you have signed up to receive the newsletter of when the shop will be launched. Um, I'll leave a link again down below, um, or you can find it on my Instagram. But thank you so, so much for, for all of your interest and all of your support with that. It is happening, I promise. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see any more fashion, kind of styling videos, please leave a comment down below. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys soon. Bye.